The CDC changing its travel recommendations. They say travelers no longer have to self quarantine after coming back from a trip. Governor Lamont said he's not easing up Connecticut's travel advisory. CDC is doing their thing. It's really important that a people coming from a very highly infected state or a highly infected country by that um, same criterion, um, you quarantine, you test in quarantine. That is by far the safest thing we can do. Right now, the CDC is asking that travelers keep a close eye on themselves for any COVID-19 symptoms and to wear a mask, wash their hands and practice social distancing. Connecticut is keeping its travel advisory the same. It requires travelers coming from hotspot areas to self quarantine for 14 days and fill out a travel form. Some say the state's travel advisory is excessive. We have to move. We have to do stuff, you know. Um, Safety is okay, but you know, I, and I hate to say it this way, but if it's kind of my time, it's my time. You know what I mean? Do as much as you can. Be precautious, but um, I think I think we'll be I think we'll be okay. I think they I think they're freaking out a little bit too much about it. Other travelers say they understand why Connecticut has stuck to its travel advisory. Geraldine Monell has already had to self quarantine after a trip to Germany. She says it doesn't bother her that she has to do it again after flying back from seeing family in Florida. I know that they're a lot more open on like everything, like the life out there. You can do a lot more than here, but I don't plan on really being out and just, I'm just focused on staying home and visiting them. I think it's better just to be safe than, you you know, sorry. And those who don't fill out a travel form or self quarantine could face a fine of $1,000. Governor Lamont announcing that some travelers have already been fined. In Windsor Locks, Lisette Nunez, Fox 61 News. Lisette, thank you. There are new restrictions at the Candlewood boat launch in Danbury. It is in response to an uptick in COVID 19 cases. Fox 61's Gabby Molina.